Hi guys, Michael here from the Canadian Relic Hunters. It's Monday morning. We had uh, snow all day. Well, most of the day uh, yesterday, the morning and Saturday afternoon, all the way through. Felt like we had 10 feet of snow. It's just the first major snowfall of the year. So I was busy digging out yesterday. Uh, this is only going to be a quick video. While I was doing my buttons, I ran into these old finds. Some of you might recognize them. This was my first key that I found. And I think I remember Jim, MD Melbourne, uh, told me to watch one of his videos and he had found one of these early on in his detecting career. So that was kind of funny, but I think it looks like a jewelry box key, but it looks old. And if I remember correctly, I did dig pretty deep. Kind of a cool key. And then I found my real skeleton key that you've seen already. This, I don't know if you can see, there's some fancy all around it. I'm not even sure what it is. But I kept it. I don't know, this looks like a cross, but I don't think so. Remember this, it's like a brass or copper chain. It was all in a big rock. And I managed to loosen it up a little bit. That's kind of cool, it's pretty old, as you can see. Then, this, I don't know if you can see through, I'm still looking to get my magnifying lamp, but look how intricate the chain is. You know it's old. This is too light to be anything special across, but I like it anyway. Here's another chain, intricate. I hope you can see how it's made. It's pretty much the same as this one. Pretty old stuff. Remember this earring, I did check, but I gotta bend it to check underneath because it does. It weighs pretty good and you know it's old when the clamp's like this. Pretty old clamp. That pen looks modern, but it is modern, but it was deep. Pretty old, I think. Not super old, but remember that this thing here was weird. I did open it up and I found these little balls in there. These things. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, they were in there. And I uh, cleaned that up, kept the balls, just in case it's one of those voodoo things. Not really, but I don't think this is too special. It's too, too light. There is writing on it. I'll double check that. It looks like a belly button ring. Or a tongue ring. I'm not sure. And my favorite locket that's not silver is this one. I'm not sure how old it is. I did clean it and I soaked it in olive oil for the longest time. And there's Love Forever on the back. 
I'm going to check it out because the silver lockets, the vintage ones, they're, they're not worth that much. You check on eBay and they sell for like 30, 40 bucks. Maybe the non-silver ones are worth more, I don't know. So yeah, that's it. So we're January 20, 20th. Big storm out. I figure well over three months to go. For spring I think I keep telling myself that oh, it's gonna be a fun year this year and that's why the winter is gonna be so long so I put my uh, beanie baby token in there I think I showed you last week it's heavy as hell and that's it Besides that, nothing special. I'm still saving up to buy my uh, waterproof machine. That's gonna come soon. Can't wait. I'll be all set up. I'll have four machines, but three that I use. That's my clad machine. This is my monster, silver monster. And I'll have my waterproof. So it's gonna be a great year. So, okay, guys, sorry for the action pack video, but when you're up north, not much to do in the winter. So, okay, I'll keep watching your videos, and I'll wish you a good week. Don't work too hard, and I'll get back to you next weekend. Bye for now.